हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम गुंजन बिदानी एंड यू वाचिंग टुडेज एडिशन ऑफ आर कोविड 19 बुलेटिन वेयर वी ब्रिंग यू डेली अपडेट्स ऑन द साइंटिफिक एफर्ट्स बीइंग अंडरटेकन इन द कंट्री टू फाइट द ड्रेडेड कोरोना वायरस पैंडेमिक we often wonder when will the pandemic end or how effective is this lockdown or social distancing in curbing the spread of the virus to get answers to such questions the science and engineering research board or serb which is a statutory body under the department of science and technology has approved funding for 11 projects in such projects researchers will do mathematical modeling and simulation to gain insights on various aspects of covid-19 infections in these projects the role of factors such as asymptomatic population migration quarantine social distancing lockdown etc will be evaluated with a view the spread of coronavirus infection these simulation studies allow policy makers to take decisions and adopt measures for the further course of action Let's see you more about the mathematical modeling and simulation studies related to COVID-19 from Professor Mahendra Kumar from the Indian Institute of Technology or IIT Kanpur. So we are uh, basically data scientists uh, working in physics department. So there are quite a few of my students uh, who got involved in uh, analyzing the available data. Fortunately there are a lot of data available on the uh, on the net. So we just took the cumulative uh infection is the infection data of of india as well as other countries and uh, so we have total number of infection in the country okay now uh, there is the interesting uh, observation we can make from the data itself of course the data has fluctuations uh, data has errors because some people are not detected but the number is huge so i think modeling of the data available data and understanding why the pattern is coming from uh, from careful simulations and also validate with the old models and there are models which are in fact the new models have also been done which models include quarantine include uh, lock, self, uh, 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 lockdowns so we will try to understand the models and try to figure out In the current pandemic situation, farmers are finding it difficult to connect to the market for sale of their harvest, purchase of seeds, fertilizers and other requirements. Keeping these issues in mind, scientists from the New Delhi based CSIR Central Road Research Institute or CRRI have made an app named Kisan Sabha. This app connects farmers to the supply chain and ensures an effective transportation management system. The app is a one-stop solution for farmers, transporters and other entities engaged in the agriculture industry. Kisan Sabha aims to reduce the interference of the middlemen by connecting farmers directly to institutional buyers. Through this app, farmers will be able to compare the market rates in nearby mandis and will be able to reach decisions on their sale promptly, ensuring better yields and better returns on their harvest. So my app is an app it is designed for the farmers to to transport their produce from uh, their farms to the nearest mandis and they can get the transport in between at right time with the right prices and and uh, they have to stick need not to struggle to arrange for the transport particularly in this period of uh, covid 19 so this app is very very useful for them so it has been worked It has been developed to taking into consideration the need of the farmers and the and the difficulties they are facing while transporting and and uh, selling their produce to the uh, procure procuring agencies. It has been interacted with the transport uh, providers also and the and the uh, is the farmers. So the feedback has been put into it in such a way that, that they can get optimum from both the things. that is from price point of view they will optimum uh, transport price is such to be carried without any much delay in that case it will be helping it it's a kisan sabha app and it's basically supply chain and freight management app where uh, you know the farmers are facing the problems how to take their produce to the market in covid 19 situation so in this app we have aggregated the farmers 
ट्रांसपोर्टर्स मंडी डीलर्स सर्विस प्रोवाइडर मंडी बोर्ड्स एज वेल एज कंज्यूमर्स सो देर आर नंबर ऑफ एप्स अवेलेबल बट दे आर मोस्टली डीलिंग विथ इंडिपेंडेंट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स समथिंग सम एप्स डील्स विथ ओनली अबाउट द मंडी सम एप्स डील अबाउट द नॉलेज अबाउट वेदर्स और सम डील्स अबाउट द यू नो रेट्स Scientists are now trying to manufacture low-cost ventilators, which can curb their shortage if the infection rate increases further. A team of scientists from the Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, or ICER Pune, has developed a low-cost ventilator made with indigenous components. While designs of ventilators were available for long, most of the parts of such ventilators were not available locally. The latest prototype requires indigenous materials and parts which are readily available or can be easily sourced. The newly developed machine offers three standard operating modes which can be selected by the operator. Also the parameters such as breath per minute and inhalation exhalation ratio can also be manually set by the operator. The parameters of the ventilator can be monitored and controlled remotely with a mobile phone. The ventilator is simple, efficient and is expected to be priced between 40000 to 50000 rupees. Let's see more about these ventilators from Dr. Uma Kant D Rapol and Dr. Sunil Nayar. We started the project of building this ventilator on 2nd of April and we finished it by the 20th of April. After 20th of April we have been working on calibrating the device and packaging the device so that it can be in some presentable format. The genesis of the ventilator project in Isar Pune started when uh, our international office got in touch with Uma Kant and later with me to help in the uh, design and development of a mechanical ventilator, which is known as the Barucha ventilator. Uh, that is a project in which we are still involved in. But while doing that, we realized that that was a very basic machine which would not suffice for the use of uh, COVID patients. Uh, at around the same time, we got to know about a couple of open source ventilators which had been released. One was uh, something called the MVM or the Mechanical Ventilator Milano from Milan. The other one was uh, an open source ventilator from the University of Florida, and uh, that got us thinking as to how we could try and implement. Uh, Uh, these uh, ventilators in our uh, context with this we come to the end of this bulletin we will be back with another edition of covid 19 bulletin very soon till then stay safe namaskar